Want to help support Juno Cigars? Two great ways to do it, smokeagoinshop.com and on Patreon. So click those links in the description below and help support this great cigar channel. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the 2023 Juno Cigars Humidor Tour. Doing things a little differently, recording the audio after the video. Let's start with the first shelf here on top. We've got the box of the Casdagli Daughters of the Wind Sabino. Nice, big, beautiful Perfecto that was the cigar of the year for me back in 2019. I can't remember exactly. I know it was the cigar of the year. Next up, we have a box of just a few left of the Tatuaje Mexican Experiment. This is just a beautiful chocolatey exploration into Mexican San Andreas. You also have a box of the No Dress Code Lancero by Paul Stulak. This was a Sir Louis cigar exclusive. These uh, were pretty fresh when I got them, and so I let them rest after a while. I need to get back to them because they definitely tasted a little green when I first got them in. Moving on, we got a bundle of these Le Grand Classe Rex by Illusione. Just a beautiful little petite robusta, or petite Corona rather, and I'm actually smoking one right now as I'm doing this video. Just a beautiful, everyday, flavorful smoke. Speaking of Illusione, it's a box of the one-off. That just came out more, most recent one-off that they just released. I also have a few of the Allegria, which is kind of a one-off follow-up that Illusione did. I like both of these cigars quite a bit. Then again, I am a pretty big fan of Illusione. Moving on, we have a bundle of the latest blend by Jake Wyatt. This is the Jake Wyatt Maverick, one of the more fuller-bodied Dominicans out there. Really flavorful cigar that I really enjoy. What else we got back here? Okay, we've got a box. Oh, yes, the La Palina Illumination Colonial. Another Corona cigar. You'll notice that I'm a fan of Coronas. These are made at the world-renowned El Titan de Bronze in Miami, Florida. A great factory. This is a beautiful delicious cigar very affordable really glad i got this box i think this box cost me 60 bucks i got it on like a clearance sale really good pickup uh this is a box of the xeno embassy selection pyramids um, these are from like the timestamp it's from 2012 so yeah they're 11 years old um unfortunately this cigar has suffered some loss of flavor uh, the flavor strength has definitely come down with that age still a decent cigar but one that I wish was just a little bit more flavorful. Got a little package here of uh, the Bad Principles by Principal Cigar, the T Corona. I have not had this cigar yet. Be interested to see what it's about, but always had pretty good luck with Principal Cigars, so optimistic about it. In the back here, we got some Moistra de Sacas. We got a number of different Moistra de Sacas by Dunbarton Tobacco and Trust. This is the Naka Tamale, which is a Beautiful Lonsdale, got a nice little candle wick cap. Very beautiful wrap relief. You also have the Bewitched, which is a six and five eighths by 48, basically the Churchill, box press Churchill, just a beautiful cigar. Look at that wrap relief. Absolutely love how pristine this wrap relief looks. And this is definitely my favorite of the Moistra to, to Saka line that I've had. Haven't had the Unicorn, maybe that one's better, but I can't spend $100 on a cigar. And of course, we also have the Unstolen Valor 6x52 Toro. This is one that actually wasn't blended by Steve Saka. It's still a very, very good cigar. All right, moving on to second shelf. We've got, first off, right over here, let's just start with this little bundle. we got the No Etziendo. <laughs> this was a fun cigar, kind of playing off the branding of Nintendo. Very tasty Dominican cigar made by Sinistro. Really enjoy this one. I'll come back to it again, I'm sure, sometime in the near future. We also have the latest blend that was released by Isaiah Santana. This is the Lumina. This is a beautiful, fine, very elegant, refined cigar. Really enjoyed this one. I got to start smoking these again because this was just a really incredible experience. I need to smoke this one sometime again soon. All right. Now we got another box of Illusioni Cigar. This is the Singulari in Churchill. Six and three quarters by 48. Really enjoyed this one when I reviewed it for the first time earlier this year. 
just a beautiful stick, very flavorful, very characteristic of Illusioni. This one just tastes like a, a typical, flavorful, well-balanced Illusioni blend, all Nicaraguan tobaccos. Just really, really enjoyed this cigar a lot. Moving on, we have one of my favorite Canadian blenders. This is Paul Stulak. Another by Paul Stulak. This is the one that really popped my cherry with Paul Stulak. This is the Red Screaming Sun Lancero. The original was made in 2014. They did a redux, a redux of the blend in 2017. That's what this blend is. Absolutely love the Connecticut Broadleaf on this particular cigar. Beautiful, bready, sweet, bready notes. Goes remarkably well with Pilsners and really nice lager beers, which is not usual with cigars. I don't really think of beers as being an ideal cigar pairing, but this one, it really, really works. All right, moving on to the next, we've got some of the Whiskey D, which is a barrel-aged cigar that Provada Cigar Club put out. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of barrel-aged cigars, but man, Provada's been doing a really good job lately. I'll have a couple other barrel-aged cigar by Provada in this particular tour. We also have the Epic Cigars La Rubia in, uh, this is a Lancero. This is actually a 7x40 Lancero. I'm not super keen on the Lancero Vitola, but that 7x40 really kicks it up a notch for me. Um, then we also have, oh yes, this beautiful box by J.C. Newman, the Angel Cuesta in Toro. This is just some of the most beautiful presentation I've ever seen in any cigar. It's a fine, fine smoke. Just look at those. That is a really good presentation. They put a lot of care into this cigar, and it shows. Not just in the packaging, but in the smoking experience, too. Ah, oh, yes, here we have the Black Mango. I reviewed this one pretty recently. Had a lot of fun with this, doing a coffee pairing. This is the Black Mango, courtesy of Drop Cigar Club, headed by Kyle Gellis's bland, brand Warp Cigars. This is another Corona, wouldn't you know? Really enjoyed this one. Very unique flavors. The flavors really popped and got me excited. I am a big fan of this cigar. Glad I got a box. Kind of got it on a whim, but it was a good choice. All right, what else have we got? I guess that goes down to the next shelf. Um, all right, we got first here, we got the box of the El Baton. This is the newly revamped packaging of the El, Bat El Baton by JC Newman. Uh, this is a nice, fat bellicoso. Really enjoyed this one. I was surprised by how well this one tasted. It really is good. It's 5 by 56. That's bigger than my typical go-tos when it comes to ring gauges, but this one was a enjoyable cigar. I've smoked that a lot. You can see I'm down to just three. I've also given a few away. We also have a box that I bought about three or four years ago. This is the La Flor Dominicana Chapter 1 Chisel. Very rich, full-body Dominican cigar. Love the way this one smokes. This is a great end of the day. You just got to unwind and forget the day sort of cigar. That's what this one's good for. Really glad I got this one. I've been kind of saving the last five. I don't know why. I need to smoke them. <laughs> All right. We got another one by Profata Cigar Club. This is the 1491. This is blended by Chico Rivas using all indigenous Dominican Corojo tobacco. Really unique flavor experience with this one. Uh, it's a, just a really interesting cigar. Really enjoyed it. This is one of Provada Cigar Club's regular production boxes that they do. Anyone can get them. Highly recommend it. All right, then we got a tray of just a, of a random assortment. I saved a box from Crown Heads and just put a few things in there. Here's a couple of uh, La Vareda, Crown Heads' latest regular production blend. Definitely their most expensive regular production blend. Uh, we've got, let's see, we got, oh yeah, a couple of the Espinosa Cuban Link. This is a Provada Cigar Club exclusive. Really enjoyable cigar there. Uh, then Provada also put out a spirits line, which was a line of cigars that are supposed to pair with particular spirits. This one is the Cognac, and that is my absolute favorite. Just a dynamite cigar. They also have one, what is this one for? This one is the, what is the tequila one? Yeah, the tequila. I have not smoked this one yet. Not a huge tequila fan, but I gotta give it a shot. And uh, let's see, we also have the one for, I think this is the scotch one, blended for pairing with scotch. Yeah, the scotch. Do you like a good scotch? So I'll have to pull one out and light that one up. And then we have a bunch of the Amandola cigars, the original Cannoli Maduro 
in Corona. It's a box press Maduro. Just delightful. Delicious dessert cigar. Very aptly named. If you like cannolis, you're going to love this cigar. Really happy I was able to get some more of these in stock. Because, yeah, smoke a lot of those. Okay. Moving on. What else we got here? Oh, yeah. We got a drawer of... This is... This drawer... In the middle of the cabinet, I keep a lot of the sort of expensive and sentimental cigars in here. So we got stuff like, uh, he has Dagley, Villa has Dagley. We've got, um, what else we got here? Oh yeah, they've got the Andalusian Bowl by LFD. Kind of a iconic cigar anymore. Just picked a couple of these up. This is the uh, Foundation, what is it? The, the Night Guardian, I think is what it's called. Picked a couple of these. These are not cheap. They look amazing, but man, I <laughs> spent a lot of money on those cigars. Uh, what else? We got a couple of Opus X's in here. We got the Opus X Lost City from 2017. I remember smoking this one. This is a really good cigar. Probably my favorite Opus X that I've had, although I haven't had a whole lot of Opus X's. Uh, we got the Drone, Series 1926, number two. It's got a little bit of damage on the foot there, but this cigar ages remarkably well, so I'm really looking forward to it in about three or four months. Got a few random Zenos and Davidoffs in there. We got the Davidoff Dominicana from 2014. Uh, we got another Tour Fuente. This is the yeah the personal reserve by Carlito Fuente. I have not had this one. That was a gift someone gave me. Uh, we have the Industrial Cigar Company. I'm not sure why this one is in here. I don't think it's particularly expensive. This is by Principal Cigars. Another great brand. I got a few El Septimos in there, uh, a few more Davidoffs. We got a Chef's Edition and the Year of the Rat. Those are both really good. That Chef's Edition is from 2015. That's a really good Chef's Edition. Uh, looks like we have the Anniversario number three. That was a gift from my brother-in-law, I believe. What else have we got in here? Um, yeah, some more Padrones. Series 1964, Anniversary Series, Pelicoso. We got, I think, a couple other Padrones in here. Oh, yeah, we got the uh, 80 Year. 1926 series in Maduro. That's a great cigar. Very full-bodied. And we also have I think a family reserve in here. Is that what I've got pulling up here next? Let's see. There it is. Yeah. Family reserve. Come on, focus. The 85 year. I've never had this one before. It'll have to be a special occasion when I light this one up. And by special occasion, I mean an occasion where I can sit by myself and enjoy it to the max. And then we have one Namakubi by Room 101. Really enjoyed that cigar. That made my top ten last year. Not going to take it out of its packaging because it's got a lot of packaging. It's got like that white paper mache. And then we got a gift from Cigar Hound Dog from a couple years ago. This is the Cohiba Capo Reserve. Capo Reserve in 1980. Very generous gift from Cigar Hound Dog. Thank you, sir. I will eventually smoke that cigar. Don't know when. Oh yeah, and this, I have one left of the Paul Stulak 10th anniversary. This is a fat fella, uh, perfecto, what I call like the cartoon cigar. I really enjoy this cigar a lot, and this was the box it came in. It was just this beautiful, black, shiny box. I really wish I had more of them, but this is the last one. They came in boxes of 10. Really a well-crafted blend by Paul Stulak. Excellent, excellent smoke. Yeah, that was big style perfecto, as they call it. <laughs> All right, put this drawer back. And move on to the next shelf. All right, we got down here, we got a... This is a fun little project by Provada Cigar Club. This is the bucket of chicken. Yeah, it looks like a chicken bucket, doesn't it? This is a great medium body, very flavorful cigar. They come in buckets of seven. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, they really did a good job on this this blend. I really love the creativity of the branding and the artwork and the packaging. Really good. Glad I got this. Very unique sort of packaging with a bucket of chicken. I still have a few left of the Juarez by Crown Heads. Nice everyday smoke. Very affordable. Very approachable. Very enjoyable. Looks like good Crown Heads. All right, next one, we got a box. Now, this is a box that's got some age on it. This is the JFR Lunatic by Agonorsa Leaf. I bought this box, I want to say, five years ago now. It's crazy. Really cool stick. It's got that neat shag foot. Very flavorful. 
medium body. Really have liked this cigar quite a bit. It ages pretty well too. So glad I got a box. All right, what else we got here? Oh yeah, got a box of the Murcielago by Espinosa. Probably one of my favorite blends by Espinosa. This is the Rabito Vitola, which is a Lonsdale Vitola. Bought this at a Espinosa event. It was made at the San Lotano factory. I also have a box. This is another one that's got a lot of age on it. This is the Avion by Tatuaje. This is the exact same blend as the Fausto, just in a different Vitola. I have to say, I actually think I prefer the, the, the Avion to the original Fausto, just because this Vitola brings out some more concentration of flavor, in my opinion. Really like that cigar a lot. What else we got? Oh, yeah, we got a box of the New World Cameroon selection in Churchill. It's a box pressed Churchill with Cameroon wrapper. Very nice, easy going sort of smoke. Pull these out when I want to give someone something that's not quite a beginner level, but something that will be flavorful. You know, we also have this is an interesting cigar. This is called the Uncharted. This was made by AJ Fernandez. I don't really know what the story is, but JR Cigars found a bunch of these in their warehouses and they never sold them so they were liquidating them i bought a box for 60 bucks like five years ago this was just a super flavorful cigar really enjoyed it yeah i come back to this one every now and then it's really good all right what else we got in here uh yeah we got oh here's another barrel aged cigar this is one of the other barrel aged cigars that provide a cigar club did i think this was the first one that they did i'll put that up here on the shelf what else we got? Uh, move some empty envelopes out of the way. Uh, sorry for the camera movement. Ah, uh, yeah, we got just a few left of the Arturo Fuente 858 Florfina in Maduro. A really good entry-level sort of cigar. Not a wimpy cigar, very flavorful, but not going to kick your ass, so it's really good for beginners and, uh, and veterans alike, actually. I think this has got a lot to enjoy in this cigar, even though it's not super harsh. Okay, what else? We've got a lot in here. <laughs> All right, we got a box of another AJ Fernandez cigar. This is the Bellis Artes in Maduro. Really like this cigar. I think it's better than the original Bellis Artes. That's a matter of opinion, of course. Really tasty, flavorful, fuller bodied. I love AJ Fernandez stuff. There's a lot of people who aren't crazy about him, but I like it a lot. A few left. That was a box of 20, so I've smoked quite a few of those. We also have a bunch by Provada Cigar Club. They do at Halloween time. Uh, this is called the, uh, they used to call it the Ghost Series. Now they call it the Wraith Series. Let's see, we've got these are the two from this year. That was from the first year, and the Boutique Cookie, that was the second year they ever did it. Uh, last year they had one called the Wraiths, and I don't have any of those left, so can't show those off, but I did get them. And this is a box I bought on Cigar Bid a long time ago. This is a Man of War Ruination in Perfecto. Or, uh, yeah, they're Perfectos. Or the War Horse, yeah. The Ruination War Horse. This is a really impressive looking cigar. The, the wrappers look beautiful. Unfortunately, they did, just did not come out as flavorful as I was hoping to. I'll revisit them later and just see how they have done with a little bit more age. But it might have just been a... Cigar that just didn't turn out so well. All right, we got a couple of other uh, Pravada exclusives. We got the Jopito. We got the Pravada Vintage 2021 and 2022, the year of the Wabbit, <laughs> and the Delectados. This was a cigar blended specifically for Pravada Cigar Club by Eladio Diaz. If you don't know who Eladio Diaz, he has worked with quite a few companies, including Davidoff. He was with Davidoff for a long time. Uh, uh, just an amazing blender, a legendary blender, living legend. Moving on, we have another box from Drop Cigar Club, which is a warped cigar subsidiary. This is the Bits of Havana. I can't talk. The Bits of Havana. Bought this a few years ago. Smoked most of them. Just a few left. Very flavorful. Suffered a few bad draws with this particular cigar, but when you get a good one, it's quite good. All right. Uh, and then we also have a box. I pulled this out just earlier. <laughs> the Aganorsa Leaf Supreme Leaf. This is the one that came out this year, 2023. This is the Toro. Straight Parejo Toro, not box pressed. Using all Aganorsa Leaf tobacco. Very good cigar. 
Although in previous years, I have preferred this blend to this year. This one was pretty good, but not quite as good as other years. Uh, then we have probably my favorite by Jake Wyatt. This is the Jake Wyatt Herbert Spencer in Toro. Really nice, medium full to full bodied cigar. Really complex, very rich flavors. Really enjoy the cigar. Great construction. Just look at the beautiful leaf accents on the cap and foot of the cigar. Love those little accents to make the cigar stand out. Very cool. All right, we also have, let's see, here we got, oh yes, box of my cigar of the year from last year. This is the Olmec in Maduro by Foundation Cigars. Nick Melillo really outdid himself with this blend. Really enjoyed it. This was everything I want from a full body, full flavored smoke. Oh man, just look at that beautiful wrapper leaf. Oh, I just want to eat it. Mm. Good construction, great draw, great smoke textures. Cigar lover's dream right here. Love this cigar. Yep. And anytime I run out, I just buy another box if it's available. Uh, we also have a few left of the Macanudo Vintage 1997 in Maduro. Um, this is one of the few Macanudos that I actually still enjoy. Uh, each one of these, I don't know how they do it, but they put a metal band on each one of these cigars. That can't be very cost effective, but they do it. Uh, the deal with that band is if it slides off easy, that it's been properly humidified. Okay. And we also have a few left of the Argentum by Ave Maria Cigars. I love the artwork on this band. Come on, focus on that beautiful Crusader Knight. Yeah, look at that. That is badass. Beautiful Perfecto Cigar. Really flavorful, full-bodied stick. Sorry, I'm fiddling with the cellophane here. Really like this stick. Very full-bodied, very delicious. Almost out of them, though. Just three left. Oof. All right. Uh, what have we got next, I guess? What are we going to do now? I guess we're going to pull out these cedar trays here. This is... I'm not going to go through all these cedar trays. There's just too many. These are just a random selection of lots of different cigars from lots of different brands. Um, as you can see, we got, see, we got some Matapas there. we got a few by German Engineered Cigars. Uh, we got... Oh, yeah. The Padrino by Amandola. That's a great smoke. A bunch by J.C. Newman. It's a couple of Room 101. 14th anniversary. Really enjoyed that stick. A uh, bunch of LCA releases from Provada Cigar Club. They come out with two new cigars every month, which is impressive. Uh, let's see. What else we got in here? We got some EP Carrillo, some Man of Wars, some Stolen Throne, Street Tacos by Rojas Cigars. Oh, there's a Fratello lying on the floor. I'll put that away. Oh, what else we got here? Uh, yes, we got some Cavalier Cigars, some more... LCA releases in there as well. Cavalier just got done doing an LCA release a couple months ago. There's some Pravada exclusives in this one. I have a lot from Pravada, as you probably have seen. I just really like their stuff a lot. Uh, what else we got here? Oh yeah, some HVCs, some Avos, some Stallones. Just a lot of different cigars that I've come to enjoy over the years. All right, I'm going to start putting these trays back here. I don't know if there's really anything else. Oh yeah, we got another drawer down here of just some more random singles. And again, as you can see, there's just a lot of stuff in there. It's it's just stuff that I don't have a place for. I just stick them in there. <laughs> got a lot of random singles that probably should be organized a little better than they are, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, I think that just about wraps it up. That's what I got in the cabinet right now. <laughs> a lot of stuff to enjoy. I think I'm set for a few months at least. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this humidor tour. See you guys on the next review. Till next time, smoke a good one.